Hello everyone, this is Kumar here. I'm again back with another Wednesday talk on the main trip site. So this video is all about uh, talking about the use cases of the COBOL program that are specifically used in a banking brochures. I have uploaded uh, other videos related to the banking about uh, giving the overview of the banking domain and also I have created a few videos on the COBOL program. And this thought like uh, how uh, these COBOL programs are effectively used in a banking project. As you all know, like COBOL plays a very crucial role, uh, especially in the banking projects throughout the world. So wherever the banking uh, sector is being used. So I thought like, let me uh, share some of the information about the COBOL programs uh, uh, in a specific uh, category wise. Uh, so that, that would be helpful. So let me begin with this. And, and what I just say, sorry about like, I haven't uploaded. I think I missed like almost four weeks of videos and due to some other commitments, uh, I wouldn't upload that. Okay, I'll already continue to upload the videos. Okay, so talking about the use cases of the COBOL programs used in banking projects. So uh, I can say like, I'm going to uh, give an overview on like how these COBOL programs are used in a customer account management, uh, loan management, transaction processing, risk management, statement generation, ATM and online banking, mortgage processing, general ledger processing, card processing, and interest calculations. So if you're working in a banking project, especially as a developer in the mainframe, so definitely, uh, you are going to work in any in, in any one of these modules. So maybe if you have worked for 15, 20 years or 10 years, so maybe you have got a chance to work in different modules. Or I have seen a programmer uh, specifically working from two decades or one, more than three decades on a specific test module. It may be a, a customer account management or it can be a just a general ledger processing or it can be just a transaction processing itself, right? Okay, so I'm going to give you a, a brief overview, like uh, how a COBOL program can be used in a customer account management or a, or a transaction processing or, or all these modules, okay? Let's talk about the customer account management. So, so here in this specific customer account management module, the COBOL programs are used to manage customer accounts uh, that can include opening new accounts or updating account information and performing account transactions uh, that can be like deposits, withdrawals, and transfers. And these programs will handle account validations balance calculations and transaction processings. So to, to handle all these situations or scenarios, right? Like customer accounts, opening your content. At the back end, definitely there is a COBOL program that's been written and it still exists. And it's been running from ages in any of the banks where the mainframe is used, okay? And there, there may be a chances if there is any migration that they have moved to a different, uh, I can say the different language or different uh, system. So definitely they, they still, they might be using these modules, but the core COBOL program may still run. Okay. So this is one of the use case on the customer account management and uh, talking about the next one that is on the loan management. Here, similarly, the COBOL programs exist on all these modules, specifically talking about this loan management. The COBOL programs, are uh, you're used to handle this loan origination. I can say like a loan management process, including loan origination, loan application processing, and loan repayment cycle recalculations. Uh, these programs can ensure uh, accurate calculations of interest, maintain loan balances, and generate loan sta statements, I can say. So again, okay, so the COBOL programs are user for loan management. When I say loan, uh, I can recall like, so there are different kinds of categories of loans, I can say, like it can be a commercial loan, or a consumer loans. There will be other third-party products that are also existing, but the core is like COBOL programs that they will be having, like a, uh, I can say like a consumer lending systems or, uh, and uh, uh, like, I mean, in fact, the loan process starts from uh, the loan origination and then coming to the servicings, and then it goes back to the uh, recovery and collections. So all these processes will have a different modules and at the back end, uh, the core will be a COBOL programs. And, and on top of it, there will be a different layers that handles it. Like either it can be C-sharp, Java, or any other technology that they may be using for other internal processing. But the core base is COBOL, I can say, okay? Then talking about the transaction processing. Yes, this is another use case, I can say, where the COBOL program is being used. And uh, here, these are used to process various banking transactions, such as like check clearing, electronic fund transfer, bill payments, and account reconciliations. These programs validate transaction data, update account balances, and generate transaction reports. Okay, now let's talk about the risk management use case. Here, uh, these are used for risk management in banking. Uh, that can be credit risk assessment, fraud detection, or AML, that is anti-money laundry checks. And uh, how these are used, these are, uh, the programs are written, uh, the core programs are written to analyze customer data and the transaction patterns that they are doing and perform rule-based checks. There will be a set of rules that will be defined to identify if there is any potential risk or any fraudulent activities that are happening. Yeah, I know you may be thinking like, okay, there may be a several data warehouse systems or the database system that also uh, identifies the risk in the data processing and uh, they do some analytics and yes, that will be definitely there. But at the back end, there are a few COBOL programs that also do, uh, do this kind of an activities to avoid the risk management in the banking projects or systems, okay? So this is another use case I can say, so where the COBOL program can be used, okay? And the next one, uh, is a statement generation. Yes, uh, this is the best another use case I can say where the COBOL programs might be used. So as usual, like uh, since banking has these two pillars, right? So uh, lending, deposits, and 
in lending so all these uh, whenever you're depositing something so at the end of the month or quarterly or annually you need a statement from the bank to be sent or there may be some internal reports to the different uh, uh, businesses that exist in the bank so they may need some reports uh, from the data transactions that are happening so definitely there is a cobal programs that are written so that helps to retrieve the account data calculate interest summarize transactions and uh, format the statement output according to the specific banking standard and uh, just create those reports and those reports can be loaded into an archival system or i can say like the cmod systems and then the business users can retrieve those reports for other business purpose okay so this is on the statement generation side and uh, the another use case i can say is atm and online banking the cobal programs are used to support atm like, like automated teller machines and an online banking system uh, like uh, as you can see like these programs i mean like, when i say when i'm using the word programs specifically to the cobal programs are written to handle customer authentication transaction processing uh, balance inquiries fund transfers and other uh, real time updates that can happen using the cobal cics programs okay so this is uh, on the atm and online banking uh, uh, modules uh, use case i can say where the cobal program can be used i mean cannot can be used it is used okay so then we'll talk about the mortgage processing uh, the cobal programs are used in mortgage processing to handle tasks such as loan eligibility checks credit scoring loan amortization calculations and generation of a mortgage document these programs ensures compliance with the uh, compliance with regulations and perform complex calculations involved in mortgage financing then talking about the next use case uh, that is general ledger processing uh, here the cobal programs are used for general ledger processing where they handle uh, posting of general entries generation of trial balances reconciliation of accounts and preparation of financial reports and these programs uh, ensures accurate recording and reporting of the financial transactions so this is another best use case i can say where the cobal program is used in a banking and uh, very interesting one uh, use case is a uh, card processing the, the cobal programs here are used for card processing in banking uh, i can say like including the credit cards debit cards uh, card authorization and how this uh, handles uh, like uh whenever you want to handle card authorization uh, payment processing or if you want to settle the transaction settlement or any kind of a fraud detections other that can be used for card based transaction that, that may happen with a uh, card based transactions so all this the back end there will be definitely some of the cobal programs that may be written at the back end side so each of this module can have few of the cobal programs written so that is still underlying i can say and then interest calculations here also as you can see there are different modules there so where the cobal programs are used to calculate some interest on various banking products such as like loans uh, deposits uh, and saving the accounts and as i can say like these these considers uh, the important factors like interest rates compounding periods uh, account balances uh, to calculate some uh, calculate interest amounts i can say okay so this is another important use case okay i think i have covered uh, almost uh, most of the modules there may be other modules which i may not be aware so but uh, so these are the modules i can say with especially when you're working in a banking projects you may come across any of these modules where uh, the cobal program is being used and this would be i can say like this uh, this will be really helpful so if you are especially working in a banking project and these are the use cases uh, just thought of sharing and that can be really helpful to anyone looking for uh at to work on the cobalt side yeah yeah so thank you so much for watching this uh video if you do like this please kindly share and subscribe to my channel so i'll be coming up with another wednesday talk in the next wednesday uh, and uh, next time like the next video i'd like to create some uh i can say like flow chart of each modules and also if possible i'll try to uh, share some sample programs of each modules that we have discussed so that it can be helpful uh uh if you are learning uh, the concepts uh, in the cobalt using cobalt program right yeah so yeah that's it for uh, this message talk thank you so much